Hi there, this is Milo. Uh, this is a new arrival. It's a Chubb Corvette. It's a, a little four four lever uh, lever lock. It's a, it's got quite a, a well aged patina to it. Um, it had a lot more surface rust on it, like like that. There's a bit I missed, but I. Uh, I sprayed it with a light oil and then gave it a, a scrub with a, a brass bristled brush. Um, the reason I used the brass brush is, well, brass is a, a softer metal. And I wanted to clean off the surface rust but not scratch down through any age-related sort of, you know, patina. Um, I just basically wanted to clean it up. I want it to, to keep its old look. Um, it was pretty it was pretty gunky in there, but it's cleaned up on the outside nicely and it's uh, a little bit I even found a like an old spider egg sack in, in here. Um but you know, I cleaned it up as best I could. Now some of the some of the Chubb Corvettes I've seen have the the fish logo there. Um, but this one just has patent and no logo. Uh, there's also no evidence of date codes or serial numbers. So quite difficult to to pin down a, an age for this lock. I would imagine you know, uh, uh, Deadlocks was saying he, that he reckons it's probably a good you know seventy year old anyway from from the sort of fifties. Uh, there's the key. So the, the key has an awful lot of age to it. It's even got a, a, a repair between the the shank and the bow there. A bit of brazing. Um, so yeah, four looks like four levers. And it works just as you would expect. Uh, a nice old lever lock to. Um, oh yeah. Uh, let's move my hand out of the out of the way. If we can see in the bottom there, if I can get the thing in focus. Um, let's try and get some light in there. It does have the monitor lever, which looks like it's on the first lever. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's it's still a bit wet with oil in there. Let's see if we can we can give this a pick. Now that is a that's my standard Chubb uh, tensioner made from a blast. Uh, made from a, a brass cruiser blank and uh, it won't even fit down over the over the post and uh, i do have this more uh, shall we say universal uh, tensioner so the, the post isn't quite as high as it should be so it, and it's uh, a little bit narrower than the uh, a, a chub key tension uh, post but it does fit over there nicely. Um, no springiness, so it fits up into the talon. Uh, and it's nice and loose, so it's uh, it won't get jammed up in up, up in there. So there we go. Um, right, so I'm just going to give it little nudges. A little bit of movement there and using moderate kind of tension this is the 
the thinnest pick wire I've got, so it's uh, it does flex a lot. But So, uh, yeah, I was quite quite chuffed to find this. Um, it wasn't listed as a as a chub. It was listed uh, as an O H U B, an O hub. Uh, yeah, I've not seen many of these come up for sale. So yeah, quite quite happy about finding that one. Um, uh, Glad, glad to have that in the in the chub collection. Uh, I normally try tie a little bit of uh, twine onto the key, uh, and just uh, keep the key nice and safe attached to the lock. So there we go. Four lever chub curvet. Thanks for watching everybody, have a good one, cheers.